All of these people are talking about dating. None of them are getting it right. She went to the bathroom and never came back. <laughs> I just tend to insult people by accident. Every time I open my mouth, the wrong thing comes out. I see a girl on every single block that I wish I could say something to. You know, that I wish I could get their number, I guess. Meet Morgan. Somehow, Morgan manages to put off every girl he meets, even though he's funny. OK. He plays in a band. OK. And he lives in one of the best neighborhoods in Manhattan. With my parents. Oh, that's a problem. But that's not Morgan's only problem. He pees in his bedroom. So I figured I'll just piss in this jar. Owns just three pairs of pants. But I don't know from pants. And is completely obnoxious. And what am I going to talk to you about dogs? I don't care about dogs, you know what I mean? Morgan's bad habits and rude behavior make it hard for him to meet women. But things are about to change. These are real people, having real trouble, needing real advice. The truth can be harsh, but dating doesn't have to be. Can't get a date? Yes, you can. OK, I got this girl's number in a taco shop. And uh, the, the, re the thing we hit it off was I told her I was a toy designer. So I called her up and said, hey, remember me? It's Morgan, that weird toy guy. And she's like, uh-huh, hi, hi, what's going on? Nothing. Well, you know, there's this Godzilla Film Festival playing, and I was wondering if you wanted to go with me. And she just said, I'm at work. Can I call you back? And I'm like, do you have the number? And then she hung up. But she didn't, she didn't call me back, so I went by myself, and I cried during the movie. Morgan's taken it all too hard. To succeed in dating, you have to be able to go from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. It's a game, and Morgan needs to be shown how to play. Like they say, give a man a fish, he eats for one day, teach a man to fish, and he'll eat every day, so I'm hoping to learn how to fish better, you know? Fish for ladies? Fish for ladies, yeah. So Morgan went fishing and showed why he always comes home alone. He's abrupt. What are you doing? He has yeah. no tact. That's nice. Got a job? I do. I work in investment banking. Oh, wow. So you have money, huh? He's crude. Would you go for it or what? And he's really, really obnoxious. I mean, what am I going to talk to you about? Dogs? I don't care about dogs, you know? I mean, I mean, the problem's clear. Sure, Morgan doesn't have much money, and his wardrobe is severely limited. But what he really lacks is charm. Let's sit on this stupid jungle gym. Morgan seems to enjoy being abrasive. He thinks it's cool to act like a jerk. Now you know what my problem is, right? I'm angry and bitter, and I have uh, a terrible self-image of myself. You're also looking pretty grubby. Thanks, yeah. I'm living grubby, guy. It's not very attractive. What are you going to do about it? You're going to have to make some changes. Yeah, all right, so let's get started. Anger and aggression are often used as a front to conceal low self-esteem. That's how comic book supervillains behave. And Morgan has always dreamed of being a supervillain. Like the Green Goblin he has tattooed on his arm, he tries to be a tough guy. No. Well, how come you go around acting so tough all the time, then? It's a defense mechanism. But to women, it's offensive. It seems like you're angry at them. I'm not angry at women. I'm angry at myself. Women are cool. I have no, I have no problem with that. You know, I'm angry at myself, and I'm angry at the world. It's not their fault. Do you even like women? Yeah, isn't that what the show is about? Do I like women? Yeah, of course I like women. What's the point? That's the whole point of doing anything in life, isn't it? Hello? It's Carol, what's up? Hey, I want to ask you a question. Remember that newspaper article you showed me? Which one? That you were in and that other girl, Jenny Doom. Yeah. Is she like, what is up with that? Is she like a villain chick or is she like into villains? The best way to meet somebody is through your you know, friends. Your a while back, Morgan saw a photo in the newspaper of his friend Carol with a woman okay. named Jenny Doom. What? She's a nympho? No, no, no. I said, do you want her info? Well, I'm not just going to call her. I'd go watch her spin. Morgan knows only three things about this woman. She's cute, she's a DJ, and she has the same last name as one of his favorite supervillains. Jenny Doom knows absolutely nothing about Morgan. Thanks. Bye. Sorry. What? So do you think she's down with supervillains? Well, she's, her last name is Doom. That would suggest something, right? I don't know. Maybe she's like some crazy badass chick that's like into causing trouble and stuff like that or into doing devious things. You know, I like that. I'm still worried you're a misogynist. Did I just... Why is this suddenly a debate? I told you I'm not a misogynist, you know? 
You, you can meet my mom and decide if I'm a misogynist or not. How about that? Is Morgan a misogynist? Did you hear the question? No. Am I a misogynist is the question. No. Morgan loves women. What kind of woman would be right for Morgan? Can you hear the question? No. We can't do nothing about this? Can we wire her up or something? Am I not speaking loud enough? No, she just deaf as hell. What kind of woman would be right for Morgan? Someone who would love him. And he could love. And I would... And you know, I'm getting emotional here. I would treat her like a queen. But what else? I mean... What? What else? Okay, fine. But besides that, like, what other qualities do you think I should go for? Well, she would have to be hot number... <laughs> Why do you think it's so hard for Morgan to get his romantic life happening? Why do you think it's so hard for me to get my romantic life happening? I don't think Morgan knows how beautiful he is, how lovable he is. What a good man he is. I don't think he takes it in and can press it out. I'm going to cry. I'm going to embarrass you. Please, it's a little late. <laughs> but he's a beautiful man. Thanks, Ma. This is Morgan's evil lair. <coughs> right? Your room's pretty miserable. It's small and wretched. The hole in the sheet. The dirty laundry. Bottle of pee. Wait a minute. You have a bottle of pee? Well, it's just my mom likes to camp out in the bathroom all the time. And sometimes if I wake up in the middle of the night, I don't want to go through the trouble of getting her out of there. It's a process, so I figured I'll just piss in this jar. All right. So Morgan has some problems. He's a little grubby, and he has a lot of bad attitude. But beneath his villainous shell, there's a sweet, lonely guy with a lot to offer the right lady. You're going to help me, right? I feel like it's your time. Okay. I feel it too. It is Morgan's time. Time to change his appearance. Time to change his attitude. Time to change his pants. Morgan's ready for change. Let's start by getting him some fresh clothes and improving his look. First stop, Bonnie. A tailor who makes custom clothes for rock stars. And perhaps for supervillains. Yeah, do you have any villain pants? Like a galactic villain? No. What I do, do have mean? limitations. Well, what do you got? I want, let's see some pants that you made, and I'll... Can, can we do that, or do I have to think of it? I don't know from pants. Morgan, I think it's time for you to bust out some of your personal charm. <laughs> what does that mean? Right now, you're the opposite of charming. Bonnie, it's hard to believe you can't get a date, huh? Yeah, I think you're handsome. Thanks. I don't... I'm not... I'm a little short for you, don't you think? Well, yeah, for me, sure. Yeah, but I, can I mean, still I, could, think you're I could stand on a box. <laughs> That'd be hard for moving around. Uh, well, you know, it's just back and forth. Bonnie, there's a girl he's interested in right now. Really? What's her name? Her name's Jenny Doom. Jenny Doom? Yeah, the fact that she's like, might be Dr. Doom's like daughter or something like that <laughs> is kind of what I was, kind of what impressed me. You know what? If you were gonna approach the Doom girl, I like you when you're not front. That's right. Bonnie figured Morgan out right away. Morgan puts on an obnoxious front to mask his insecurities, like those $10 sunglasses he always hides behind. You can't tell they're $10 glasses. Yes, you can. How? They look like you got them out of a box of Fruit Loops. OK, oh. go on. I got to you know. tell you, as far as meeting men, Yeah. if we're outside, sunglasses are perfect. If we're inside and we're talking and he keeps his glasses on, I don't think twice about him. Yeah, but either. you can see my eyes through these glasses. They're not dark glasses. It's the shield. Listen, you know how it is, Alex. It's rough out here. It is rough out here. You know? Why do you need a shield, Morgan? Why does Captain America need a shield? Think about that. A 35-year-old man should not be modeling himself on Captain America or anyone that wears tights. Morgan, you didn't make the best impression on Bonnie. Boy, what did I say? Nothing nice for one thing. Specifically, what did I do? Specifically, you suggested standing on a box so you could have sex with her. That's not very smooth. Now you're going to see Dr. Hong to get some new glasses. Be nice to her. Ask her questions about herself. I'll try. Try what? I'll try to be a nice, engaging guy who smiles and asks questions. 
Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Okay. Just a couple questions for you. These are what you're used to wearing? Well, these aren't my prescription glasses. They're just for, no prescription. For fashion. Okay. You always dress like this for eye exams? Um, usually. Like at 10 o'clock in the morning, you're like <laughs> all ready to go clubbing. <laughs> I didn't think this was such a clubbing outfit. Well, it's but... a little... I expected like a white lab coat or something. You're being the opposite of charming, again. Can we just go forward with the exam, please? Morgan thinks acting like a jerk is cool, Dr. Hong. Thank you. Actually, his personality doesn't bother me too much, but his clothes are a little bit dirty. <laughs> so, uh, okay. you're an ophthalmologist? I'm an optometrist, oh, actually. So you're not actually a doctor. Um, well, it's a different type of doctor. But What's you shouldn't tell that to women, it's just rude. Morgan's just not getting it. No matter how much he offends women, he won't drop his insulting behavior. I thought it was like a common <laughs> perception that like optometrists were sort of like... Sort of like what? Not, not you know, people don't regard not them as real doctors. doctors. Yeah. Oh. Is that wrong? I mean, but is that... But this doesn't make you seem very educated. I guess not. Okay. I guess not. Okay. I guess not. Sorry, man, I'm really blowing it. Okay. I'm trying to learn to be okay. a better person. Good. Okay, now can we go get glasses? Little Elton John, don't you think? Okay, can we move on? I'm not into cruelty to animals. I don't want to look like some German architect or anything like that. Do you have any, like, Star Wars glasses? Those are cool. You like those? Yeah. New glasses will help Morgan's appearance, but he's still acting like a jerk. He really blew it with Dr. Hong. What can I say? I melted down. I went to pieces. I collapsed. I, f I folded. Your problem is you open bad. You assume women aren't going to like you, so you make sure they don't. First impressions are huge. By acting like a jerk all the time, you're pulling the rug out from under your own feet. I like that image a lot. <laughs> right? All right. The, is the barber hot, too? Yeah. Shorty's super hot. But like most married men, he's forgotten everything he ever knew about meeting women. I never, ever asked a girl for her number. I always gave him my card and then walked away from the night. That only gets you the women who want you, not the women you want. It's your job to get the phone number. I totally disagree with that, man. I think it's more manly to hand out your number. Have it hand out your number and let them figure out when, how long before I call you. Shorty, going around giving your card out is a cowardly move. You're calling me a, a coward, okay. Cool beans. Cool beans? Look, the hardest part of dating is making that first call. You can't be afraid of rejection. And that's Wax sitting there waiting to think someone, is she going to call me or not? That's the worst position. At least when you have the number, you're in control. And if you're going to get dissed, at least you get dissed on your own time. <laughs> Word. All right. The question remains, can Morgan learn to be charming? He's about to get a second chance when Dr. Hong brings him his new prescription shades. If nothing else, at least now he looks like a sweet little boy. <laughs> so? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Got a real baby face. What do you think of the haircut? Very nice. Don't don't just say that. I think it looks. No, a little, it's awesome. It it's all cleaned up. Well, Want to well, try well. the new glasses on? What I, do you think? Um, why not? Sure. But you look really good. I'm really impressed. Uh, word, thanks. Yeah. Word, very cool. very good looking. Well, you know, it's a little embarrassing. Yesterday, I felt like. Uh, what's that? What's 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 that line from that uh, Jack Nicholson movie where he says? Uh, you make me want to be a better man. Wow, this is sweet. Impressive. Most impressive. At last, Morgan's starting to lower his shield. Morgan's made real progress. He used to be grubby and rude. Now he's fresh, clean, and somewhat less rude. He's ready, as ready as he'll ever be, to meet Jenny Doom. And in a little while, he will. Meet the new Morgan. Thanks to Bonnie, Dr. Hong, and Shorty, he's looking super sharp. And even more important, he's learned that being nasty is no way to meet a lady. And tonight, he puts it all to the test. Because Morgan's friend Carol made a few calls and arranged for him to meet Jenny Doom, the DJ whose photo he saw in the newspaper. Then I washed the sheets, I got a new towel, I washed the comforter, and I fluffed the pillows. What about the bottle of pee? Oh. <laughs> it's still there. Morgan, 
Remember to be charming. Okay, fine. And don't act like a jerk. Okay. Okay isn't quite good enough. You need to be shown examples of the mistakes you've been making. Let's review your visit with Dr. Hong. I do. This is something I'm dreading, but okay. You always dress like this for eye exams? Um, usually. Like at 10 o'clock in the morning, you're like <laughs> all ready to go clubbing. <laughs> but she was laughing and stuff. People laugh at rudeness as a way to deflect it. But you don't have to be rude. You can be quite charming. Check this out. Well, you know, if you're happy, I'm happy. You know, it was a little embarrassing yesterday. I felt like, uh, what's that, what's, what's, what's that line from that uh, Jack Nicholson movie where he says, uh, you make me want to be a better man? Wow, this is sweet. What a cornball. <laughs> what a corny line. That's a beautiful line. Yeah, I mean, I guess it just, I guess you just have to say that kind of cheesy stuff. And you know, yeah, maybe not be such a jerk. You know, or be less of a jerk. You know, or be a different type of jerk. A gentleman jerk. A gentleman jerk, or just like a fun jerk. Like a jerk where she's in on the joke rather than like doesn't know what the hell is going on. That sounds good. Okay, that I can work with. Are you ready to meet Jenny Doom? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, fine. Jenny and her friend Carla are DJs, and they always have dinner together before a gig. They've invited Morgan to join them. <laughs> Having Carla around can work to Morgan's advantage. It's always easier to talk to two girls than Morgan? one girl by yeah. herself. Hi. 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 I'm Carla. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. you. Jenny. Nice Hi. to meet you. One of the things that I thought was kind of interesting about you. What's that? It's the, uh, the whole Jenny Doom thing. Are you like a super villain girl or anything like that? Opposite. You're, you're not a villain? No. What are you, a good girl? <laughs> I'm a bad girl playing good. <laughs> that sounds just like my type. <laughs> she's a fun girl. I'm fine. She's a fun. We're fun. We're fun. I like volleyball. She's athletic. She's a fun volleyball is cool. I mean, I like all that stuff. It's just don't really go out for it. But I mean, if you wanted to go play volleyball, I'd go definitely. That would be that would be an incentive. You really want to come to the game? That that's do really I have to play or do I just watch? No, I'm just amazed because no one ever really wants to come to the game. Do you wear the little short shorts and? Mm -hmm. And tube socks. How are you going to pass on that? <laughs> I think this is really cool. Why? You think we're hitting it off? I think you guys are cool. Like together. romantically? I didn't say that. I just said. Possibly, maybe? <gasps> Morgan's doing no. all right. I'm always going to be in general. So. He's a little aggressive, <laughs> but he's making it more flirty than obnoxious. <laughs> no, he even took off his sunglasses, just like Bonnie told him to. And he quickly scored points by offering to watch Jenny play volleyball. And Jenny seems to like Morgan. She's even agreed to join him on a date. Don't let me hold the door for you, okay? Yeah, it's an evil and conquest. All right. <gasps> Dark and light. Yeah. Wait, evil and conquest. But for, for good ends. But for good ends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. You came from a volleyball game? I can't believe you did that. Well, whatever. I like it. Come again? I said I like you. What? Come on, you heard. I have time to wrap it. Present? It's for you. What? What? Why? I don't get Just it. Just because it's fun. Okay, cool. I don't know. I like stuff. All right, whatever. Should I open it now? Wow, you really went all out. See, it's a long note. All I didn't the know. Cobra armies. Wow, thank you. This is so right up my alley. Do you really like it? Of course I like it. I mean, how many girls out there would buy me like? A, a box I of bad really guys. I really to give us dessert stuff, but I really wanted oh, to give you the present. thank you. No, you really, really like thank it. Thank like, you. Oh, yeah. oh, wow, I got a kiss on me. <laughs> you can tell when a person's a good person, you know? Morgan's definitely a good person. He was saying how he's this big super villain and blah, blah, blah. And, he's, and <laughs> shh. I don't think that he's a really big super villain. How do you think the date went? Um, I hope that he liked me. Am I allowed to ask whether he liked me? He liked you. <laughs> Did he like me? Really? Like for real, real? Or like, oh. I'm... For real. Really? Cool. How you feeling now, Morgan? I'm happier. I don't know if that doesn't seem, if that's less cool or whatever. I guess I don't care. Who cares about being cool? I know, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, it's weird. I'm not, I'm, I'm not that cool. And, and what, whatever cool means, cool is whack. 
Like I thought Jenny Doom was gonna be cool. She's like the biggest dork I've ever met, you know? So, and that was a relief, you know, cause that means I can be my, I could be a dork too, you know, and it doesn't matter. Dorks in love. Dorks in love. Yeah. Soft and cuddly. Can't get a date? Yes, you can. Like I hack my way through this jungle of thorny vines, and I fight a dragon and some orcs, and then an evil witch gets dropped, and there's this beautiful girl laying on this ice bed, and she's asleep, and then we kiss, and she wakes up, and we get married. That's it, that's what I want. And if I don't get that, the show's done. Get your people out there, find me a castle, and make it happen. Ha, ha, ha.